Hi everyone, Rick here from Ignite and I've got three minutes to try and encourage you to keep learning and for me learning means staying curious, keeping asking questions. Well in the world of science and nature there are four main questions that will help you get to the answer to most questions, most things. How is it made? How does it work? How does it move? And how does it change? And those four questions, if you can find out the answers to those, will keep you curious and keep you learning. Now I wanted to talk to you about stuff, because stuff matters. And I've got here four examples of a substance called carbon. Now carbon is all around us. You can see I've got some charcoal, some graphite, some coal, diamond, and then something really new called graphene, which I'll talk about in a minute. But which of these do you think is the most valuable? Hmm. As Shakespeare might have said, the value of anything, or the worth of anything, is how it is valued. And at different times in our history, these things will have been more valuable. They are all kinds of carbon. But charcoal, hmm, well, what's that used for? In the prehistoric times, they discovered that charcoal burns hotter than ordinary wood. And they were able to melt metals. And that was the start of the Bronze Age. Later, they discovered that graphite could be used to make marks. And that led to the discovery and the use of writing. So that was really valuable too, wasn't it? Because that meant that ideas could be transferred from one generation to the next. And it could mean the start of books and libraries. Later on, when they discovered that there was lots of coal, especially in the UK and here in Nottinghamshire, coal was a great source of energy and it powered what we call the Industrial Revolution because lots of engines and steam locomotives were powered by coal and indeed a lot of our energy still comes from coal. But of course that is now regarded as a problem. And then there's the diamond. Well, we think the diamonds are valuable. Now, there is a new substance that's been discovered called graphene. And this is carbon that is just one atom thick. Can you imagine that? But they're discovering all kinds of uses for it. Now, you can either look at these substances using a magnifying lens, as you can see here. But I'd say to you, get yourself one of these. This is a little microscope that can fit onto a camera and they only cost about five pounds but look can you see in my camera just how useful oh you can't see can you there we are so there we are with a microscope and lots of ideas about different substances you can learn and keep curious so that's my message for you today Stay curious, ask lots of questions. Good luck.